real. We gotta, we gotta get all this on camera. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta. We're gonna be in up talking too much gangster shit. Hey, uh, excuse me, ladies Let and go. gentlemen. Uh, without further ado. Huh? Without further Talk ado. Talk your shit, OG. Nah, because it, this is well overdue. I think today we probably got one of our most requested trap guests. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. A legendary trap. Who, oh, motherfucker? Who? Southside legend. Who? Oh, shit. Y'all, everybody, you know Shawty. I know Shawty. Last week he had just served, he was serving 50 last week. I know Shawty now. Now home be coming through with QPs. He be won't have P with the flavor. Ooh, talk your shit. I'm talking about not only do we hang around a bunch of players, but when they hang around, they stand in a circle. That's Ooh, crazy. And make a whole player circle. Ooh, and all he want for his birthday is a big booty hoe. Come on, man. And he not, not only is a gr he a grown man. What? Off top. Uh -huh. But in his heart, he's still a titty boy. Uh -huh. And a duffel bag boy. Come on, man. Yeah, this the only, this the only nigga you know that uh -huh. was trapping and playing basketball at the same time. Ooh. Time out. Let me serve these J's. Uh -huh. Let me serve these who? DJ. <laughs> Let me serve these who? YSL belt buckle. Y'all niggas show we is looking. I thought that was the name. I did too. Come on, man. Not one chain, How many? but two chains. <laughs> oh, gee. I never call you two chain. That's the best introduction. I only I only refer to you as Titty Two Necklace. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. That's the best introduction I, I ever had. I appreciate Most that. Most definitely. Oh, oh, the best introduction he ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta say it two times. <laughs> yes, sir. OG that, in the house. Man, we fuck with you the How real way up here at the 85 South Show, man. man. Most y'all did a good job on the BET Awards. Appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate that, OG. Appreciate that. Look like big things, big things on the way. Y'all already were doing big things, but you know, look like the trajectory there. You know what I'm saying? Get some bank rolls and some and some appearances. So keep doing that. Y'all know y'all got the personality though. For all y'all to be like, for all three y'all to be like all y'all. But for three y'all to be, you know, hilarious, but not same. Right. Right. Like for real, that's hard. Like, it, like, ain't nobody doing that though. Yeah. Like, if you think about it, like, how y'all kicking, how y'all moving, with adding something different to the game, flair, you know, so I am a whole R&B nigga on the low. He did. Yeah, boy, this nigga. Shit, oh, y'all got some shit going on. It gon' to trip me. Shit gon' pop. Man, we appreciate y'all. Appreciate that, shit man. Pop. Like, what? nigga, that mean a lot coming from you, man, because you, you, you one of the most it. legendary in the game, man, for just the way that you did it, like. A lot of people don't know that, you know, you was already, you came in the game with a team and you wasn't a superstar at the time and you right. waited and did what you had to do and waited your turn. And then when it came your turn, you took off, man. Like, so right. like, what's that process like, you know, when you come in the game and you get to see everything, does that change your perspective and how to move when you get to see somebody like Luda be a superstar? Does it, mm -hmm. you know, teach you all the things you need to avoid in the game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look at it as two ways when I explain um, being around somebody who is successful. You could be um, inspired by it or you, you can hate on it, you know what I'm saying? So when I first got in the game early, just like many people today, I was happy to get a record deal. Um, you know, I was happy to be getting off the streets, you know? Like, when you, sh a lot of people find God at different times. You find God, somebody die. You find God when you about to die. You find God when you go to jail. So I had instances where I just became a, a very spiritual person because I had went through some, some ill things, you know what I'm saying? So I was looking at this like God trying to pull me out of this situation, you know what I'm saying? So getting with Luda, signing with them like he, I ain't had no, I ain't had no um, bank account when I signed with him. Like he, he got my first ever bank account. I'm still doing shoe boxes and all of that. You know what I mean? So when they were trying to go through the business process, I ain't, I had never been in a bank before. You know what I mean? So I can't sit here now that I'm successful and downplay what I learned through that process because it helped me be the person. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never bitter about it. I just always had some type of star quality that I personally felt inside 
You know what I'm saying? Since I was probably a freshman in high school, I felt like I had some type of glare that, that I just attracted people because I was just a cool nigga. You know what I'm saying? I did cool shit. My mom, the whole neighborhood called my mama mama. You know, that that's, that that's was my right. mama. Yeah, so, you it. know, you ain't got I'm no her choice. son. So, you know, like, you know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Nigga sold crack in my, even when I went to college, nigga was selling crack in my yard. Just like really violating in that, in that sense to where I had to put in rules and parameters. But a lot of these people still my friends to these day, to the day. Like a lot of people, people that may, y'all may see me around, they not industry people or nothing like that. They're just regular, ordinary people with families that I'm still cool with and we, I hang out with. So the whole Luda thing was, was, was a good experience for me, you know what I'm saying? Watching him do shows live, you know what I'm saying? Like he does TV tracks. He never like raps over his words, which is something that I took from going through that, you know, university or whatever. You, you mean raps over his words? You know what, I do TV tracks. There's two ways to perform. You can actually oh, you're talking about rap over, over your word, words. Word. Okay, 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 big. <laughs> or you can go out there and remember an hour worth of material Whew. and give fans a different experience where it's a live performance. That's what the fuck I be doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. shit. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with either one. It's just things I'm telling y'all learn from being around Luda, right. Wayne, right. yeah, a few other people. It's like a showmanship style of entertainment where some people literally lip sync. They got the most jeers, got the most everything. They literally go up there and they can match play and, and, and whatever. And, but that's just, it's some, basically I'm saying there's some things that I learned that I kept with me the whole, through the whole process. Right. Just to, just just to sum artist. up that experience, just to be a better artist. So it really like, I had to just take it at that. You either inspired by it or you hate on right. another man's success. I'm like, okay, this is what really happened. This on God. Talk your shit, this, huh? is, this is really what happened. One day, you know, like I'm the weed man in Atlanta. I'm like, I'm, I'm having the gas first. Okay, get your. Yeah, yeah. 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 Get your to get nah. Oh. You got on too many damn chains. Two ch Don't fall it in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna catch you. That'd be a classic right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, that's good. Adjust the cord. There you go. I'm gonna make this shit. That shit finna get good. <laughs> finna get stupid. <clears throat> All right, so um, at this particular uh, uh, time, I don't even know what I was finna brush on, but I, uh, basically, at, at once upon a time, I was um, the weed man in Atlanta, as far as like having strong. And right. this was about like, this was early on, like, this is even when Luda was like working on the radio station and like that. So I served a lot of rappers before they knew I rapped, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't a nigga, you know, like you see a nigga, you be like, here go my tape and all that. That was never my thing. Like right. I kept it straight because I knew who was really, was really doing their thing and I knew who was just really capping. So for a long time, um, that was like my introduction into the game and that's how I um, even started to like build relationships with artists and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So one day I looked at my phone and I ain't even never Googled nobody work, but I had like Stunner number, Puff number, Wayne number. I know all these niggas millionaires. Right. I know these niggas got some million. Right. How come I can't get no me? Now this ain't me. Now I can get now. Loot, I got, I literally counted in my phone how many niggas I knew had some M's that I knew. Right. Like I'm talking, I'm texting, you know what I'm saying? On a regular but I ain't, but I'm not having no right. M's though. That don't mean they buying that. They ain't buying shit. They just No, buying, no, they this rubbish. ain't they habits is they habits. Whether yeah. they want a lot of weed or a little weed, that's their thing. I know they have it. If they ain't having M's, they hoodwinking me. Right. They making me want whatever. Basically, like, once again, I was inspired by right. that. So I woke up one day, I was just wanting my own shit. Mm -hmm. I told him that I wanted to be solo, I wanted to be by myself. And now we're here. And that was it. That's it. Locked right and loaded. That's it right that there. That was a true ass story. Nigga. That shit felt real. I was like, yeah, what, what? But see, that motivation is, is something that, you know, people need to understand is, is real because, you know, a lot of people think you're just going to get up and be successful. 
right. and not know that journey that it takes to get to this point that you at, you know? Yeah, because I mean? right. you got to highlight the one thing you said, though. You can't do that shit hating on the motherfucker, though. That was right. definitely say, like, You can't be no hating ass nigga and get nowhere in life. Right. Oh, yeah, that was okay. the biggest. Let me, explain, the biggest. let me explain to you my hating theory. Talk your shit. And niggas hold their nuts on you, right? Right. So you think about it. When you hold your nuts on somebody, you holding yourself down. The other person, they not worried about you holding their nuts on They keep rising. The more you hold your nuts, the more you stay stagnant. And the person that you're hating on, believe it or not, we sleep real good at night. You know what I'm saying? So just, just, that again. just so like, that's how I describe hating. I'm like, nigga holding their nuts, you know what I'm saying? But niggas running in place. Niggas right. on treadmills too, so. But what I'm trying to tell you is if you can get past whatever hate in your heart, Get past whatever that you can't get over. Right. I think things will flourish for everybody. Relationships can build. Well, it's different. Intentions got to be right. Right. You Coming from a nigga who get a bunch of hate, I feel you, my nigga. What they, they be hating on you? Boy, you ain't seen the comments on the Fabo video? God. No, nah, they was taking up for you, nigga. No, but. No, see, they was uh, like, boy, no, you got to be fucked up. Chico, listen. Ain't he going to cap? Ain't he going to cap? Well, listen. 85 percent of came through for well, you. Well, listen. Real shit. They was listen. jumping. Hey, Shame. They was jumping Fabo ass. They was like, right, right. Can't wait to see Fabo. Fabo, Fabo came through. Salute to Fabo, man. That's, that's, that's the nigga. You know what I'm saying? But they was on these But they was on his ass because, you know, we are, we we know each other. So, you know what I'm saying? And then the thing about this platform is it's not about us. It's about making the guests comfortable. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted him to be comfortable and what he, you know, and, I mean? he, was. and, and he was very he much was. so. <laughs> and he was very comfortable. And that was, but, but people took it as like he was coming at me sideways and nah, all this type of wild shit. shit. It was just some hood shit. We was had one of the funnest times I ever had. But, mm -hmm. and I appreciate the love and the 85 comments, all the 85 percent of the, because, you know what I mean? I used to get, they I used was, to they get was, the hate. They was, I read about a thousand Oh, comments. yeah, nigga. Nigga got me fucked up. All the way, bro. It was what? crazy. But the haters is was still in there. And I get the the, the crazy hate. I remember one time a nigga in the comments said, y'all need to get rid of Chico and bring Sheriff LeBlanc. I was like, God damn. <laughs> bring who? <laughs> nigga tried to Sheriff, the Sheriff. Nigga, nigga said, I need oh, to get LeBac. rid of LeBac. Oh, LeBac. Oh, my bad. LeBac. LeBac. He nigga. won, too. LeBac. Yeah, LeBac. Right. So, but, you know, for me, it's like, I understand that totally coming from a nigga that had been, you know, getting that type of experience my whole life. I done always been a live nigga, so I know what come with that. So right. just the internet and what come with the internet, people typing on the internet, Nowadays, that's a different type yeah. of energy that you got to navigate. So how do you navigate? Look, this is what I was going to say, though, for all the people watching, bro, like, like you were speaking on, though, Chains. They can only get so much of a perception by watching anything. Like, don't never think for one second that Chico would let a nigga sit there and talk shit, talk to him <laughs> hey, crazy man, or disrespect. That's no, what I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. We, we, don't, we don't need to clear up. We need to clear up. We, we, we clear up one of them niggas world stars. <laughs> right. <laughs> but don't, don't never get it fucked up. He would yeah. never just sit there and let a nigga talk yeah, crazy but we to him. We ain't even that love. See, yeah, no. the fame, right. We about to nigga the start of R&B group. We talking about hood love, like, hood talk. Y'all don't understand don't that, how get that shit it every go. Time. You know, yeah, I mean, you know but, how that shit be. But you know, how do you navigate that though? Cause you at a you at a level of, of, of stardom that a lot of people would can couldn't even imagine. So how do you deal with the negativity when you whenever you get to see it? I know you probably miss a lot of it, but yeah, man, I, um even <laughs> your ass crazy here, yeah, dude. Nah, it doesn't it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck them niggas, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's the oh, that's, that's it. That's shit. all you see. Oh, what you see, man? I don't even see that shit, funny. man. You did. Um, oh, man, like some stuff I even I don't even want to even. Man, I'm, I'm not even. You ain't gotta mention. You just over address it, like you know. No, I'm third so, party. So let me tell you something. At the point I am in in, in my life, right. right? I don't see me doing nothing to throw it away. Man. And let me tell you something now. Black man pride is a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Black man pride be having a couple different outcomes. Right. They don't be the best. You know, I've been living long enough to remember when niggas would shoot you by stepping on some shoes. Right. Now imagine a nigga that shot somebody by stepping on some shoes, how they with their mentality. I even just fast forward it to past starter jackets. Just go let's go to Jordan. Right. Still in Jordans. Right. Whoever got killed for Jordans, that was senseless. Whoever did it was senseless. Now, 
Now let, now let, now, 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 I don't want to act like I've been rich all my life. I done tried to take a start. I done tried to take something from somebody before. Right. You know, but I think in this day and age when it's like, the era of supposed to be OGs, you know what I'm saying? A nigga just got to show different restraint, you know what I'm saying? Like, my whole thing is like trying to get back home. I think that's, I think people don't, I think people may take that for granted, you know what I'm saying? Like leaving and coming Come back. back home, right? You can't like, you can't be taking that for granted, you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm too, I'll be thinking too much. No, you you both too. You know what I'm saying? I'll be thinking. Just be thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, and just anything to happen, my nigga. Just just however you left us, whatever. And right now, however your spot look right now. You know what I'm saying? You left it like whatever. So you but shit like that make sure, yeah, you're in it. But the shit like that made me try to straighten up. But this little shit. I just be trying to be on my shit. Not to think that nothing bad will happen to me, but just the energy I'm just trying to, I guess, spread is like, it's a time and a place to be gangster. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna never tell nobody not to hold their gangster down. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the disrespect is really like, nigga can't tolerate it, but at the same time, nigga can't do no, go down the road. Right, right yeah. no dumb ass yeah, shit, man. tripping. And then I, like what you said about making it back home, I think a lot of the reason why, why especially us, don't have that energy is because niggas don't come from nothing. You know what I mean? So they ain't got nothing to really go back to to be proud of. So they can give a fuck about making it back. You That's know what true. I mean? That's true. don't have nothing to really look forward to or look That's into, true. you know, to give them energy to want to be, you know, smart or on a square so and that's think, important you, know, you gotta too. build something you know that's the that's the test you gotta build something that's worth having and that's your responsibility out here you know what i mean nobody gonna give you shit but the more you build that's worth something the more energy you will have to keep yourself on your square like change you see i think and i think it's important too that i um don't get too far away because i am but you know what i'm saying i gotta understand if a nigga ain't eating and ain't got no job what well, that what well, that's like too you know what I'm saying? You don't be want to come from a place to where a nigga don't understand another person's pain. So right. I got I got to still like me in that mindset. Yeah, you know man. Don't just be like, man, I was a crazy decision. Like, no. you know what I'm saying? I don't want to judge nobody on no. that. Like, no, yeah, I just right. I just be wanting to like make sure you straight at all times. I just be wanting to try to move like a player. Move like the be president. real transparent too. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, love is fine. Nigga love the music, shit, you know what I'm saying? Nigga love life. Nigga straight, man. Nigga, on a piece of a basketball team, nigga got. You own a piece of a basketball team? <laughs> there go, there go, well, can't man, talk over that. Like, that. like, that shit just normal I now. Thought people knew. No, I ain't no people, people no knew. people. Which one? College Park Skyhawks. Well, I want to put a little something down on the hall, too. I'm going to be performing at the Gateway Arena this Saturday, and that's. That's where the, the team day. plays it. For nah, real? yeah. Well, we had a season until um, COVID hit. You know what I'm saying? Started, but I'm a partner in that with the um, with the, with the owner of the Hawks. Mm. Oh, that's guys. one of them, 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 them where they work out and get the shit right. On oh, some real shit, you gotta just put just one Atlanta ass nigga on the team, it, whether he can hoop or not, just so he could talk shit loud. <laughs> get that I'll fuck that shot and run that play. <laughs> he gonna be the motivation. We ain't fucking with Kyle <laughs> Paul, bro. <laughs> <laughs> real shit. These niggas balling, but they, they ain't hoop. <laughs> we hoop. We hoop. Fuck these pussy ass niggas. Come outside. Fuck ass gym, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't lost nigga head time, nigga. <laughs> See me in the fourth, nigga. When fuck you gonna play? Out. I ain't, nigga. You ain't playing neither. Oh, yeah. weak ass nigga. <laughs> he got to be on the team every yeah. season. Bro. Every season. Like, yeah. He the motivation. Yes. That's a, that's a real Atlanta nigga in high school, too. They keep a nigga like that on the team in high school. Man. Nigga at the end of the bench. And fuck nigga, what? <laughs> what? Fuck that fucking game, man. He, he loud as hell. Nigga got 40 on their ass. He still talking. He loud. What nigga? That nigga that get kicked off the team for whooping the coach ass. <laughs> Damn. He whooped the coach ass. And he, he old, too. He to school no more. <laughs> Hey, at what point in your rap career did you have to tell these niggas, look, I ain't the weed man no more? <laughs> 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 
Y'all got me fucked up. Stop nigga, calling me. Niggas will call. Hey, bro. Hey, see, I see you on BET. Hey, pull up on me, nigga. I'm not at that point in my life. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm wasting your time. I'm your, oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know if the shit was live or pre recorded or what. Oh, man. Oh, shit, man. Yeah. Um, Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fun ass story, nigga. I'll never forget, nigga. I was listening to your true album, right? That shit was crazy. I was in a, a Ford, a Ford Crown Vic that I bought from a nigga for two hundred dollars. I'm gonna tell you why I bought it from him for two hundred dollars. Cause a nigga ain't had no no title, but I wasn't tripping. I was like, fuck a title. Yeah, I'm in mean, this bitch. Oh yes, sir. Yes, nigga. I didn't know though. You yeah, yeah I'm in the car, right, nigga. I see twelve sitting in the middle of the goddamn. I'm on Marlon King. They about to run past Cascade in the library. So they sitting right there in the middle of the car. I see him. I'm like, fuck, I got your shit playing loud here. All I want for my birthday is a big book. They about two o'clock. Nigga, I got on tight tall skin to head. Nigga, I got a pistol on me. Weed, but I ain't tripping. Right. Cause I got insurance on a stolen car. Right. And I know the tie, the tag good. That's what I know. That's what the nigga told me. Nigga, I go past the police, nigga. All I want for ooh, I hit that bitch. Ooh, get the thing, it's a big booty hoe. Whoop, whoop. I'm like, damn, in a big booty hoe. I'm like, fuck, I got your shit blast like a motherfucker. Nigga, anywho, the nigga who I bought the car from was wanted. And they thought it was me. Oh, I got man. locked up, bro. Because I had weed and, uh, and more shit in the car. Dang, but just know, I know before that I got ain't locked. Funny, that ain't that funny. That's sad. I, 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 I beat that. that. I beat that. Yeah, that I beat that. Hey, but, but, the, the, but, the, but the most energetic part was I would listen to my nigga yeah. shit. <laughs> before yeah. I got locked before up. You hear me? Yes, sir. Got a whole yeah, charge on this record. And that's the CD was still in the car when I got my shit back. That's what used to be hard about getting shit at the impound. What? You're like, damn. That's all I care about, my CD. I said, man, I hope they take my motherfucking album, You definitely a real love nigga if you don't have a car impound. And when it got, if you don't, if you a London nigga, if you don't had an impound and left it, and you a real London nigga, if you don't had an impound and picked it up. Yes, sir. Tell you, a lot like, of nigga done left one in it, but where your car at? But them folks told me shit. Go get it. But nigga just, that's the ink, period. Is oh, it? that one the nigga big boy yeah, told it. Man, fuck that car, I ain't going to get yeah, that man, shit yeah, wet. That I'm finna get this box shit, but nigga yeah. already said he finna sell it to me for 900. I ain't fucking with that goddamn car. <laughs> the, that bitch ain't had no oil in it. The transmission was slip. <laughs> fuck that car, man. That nigga had that pussy ass car, nigga. You don't want your music out there, bitch? Nah, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm finna jump brand fuck new that. big boy I shit. I had to get my car. I'm gonna get my CD book out anything back in the day. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. I feel like every hood nigga then bought a car from their homeboy who buy cars from the auction. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. True too. I remember a nigga had a nice ass Cadillac got out of the car. He was trying to sell that bitch fast here. He was like, come on, come on, come on, come on, somebody, come on, man. Let me shit going for like 25 home. Nigga, I'm finna go get it. They be like, no, no, you don't want that. I'm like, why? He like, nigga, <laughs> you don't want that one. <laughs> I was like, well, it be nice as hell. He said it for 25. Y'all tripping. Y'all better buy that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was stupid. Hey, man. I remember. My, <laughs> I was about anything from a nigga. Yeah, let me get that up out your My first two chains, man. You know, your uh, DJ, E That's okay. my partner, partner. That's the OG like, right there. Together, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when he first started working with you, you know what I mean? We used to link up and shit. And uh, he played that. I'm riding around. I'm getting it for me. And okay. we used to do these shows every third Sunday of the month in North Carolina. And I was like, man, sir, man, let me come out to that shit. Man, he was like, yeah, bet. So I played that shit. Nobody had ever heard it. I'm riding around and I'm getting it. Nigga, like, who the fuck is this? I'm like, nigga, fuck that. Listen to it. I ain't smoking on exotic. Yeah. My girl ain't got no stomach. I was like, cut it off. I'm like, this nigga fucking with alien hoes. Nigga, this bitch ain't got no stomach. <laughs> and it just playing the whole song, man, like that style, that's what made you so unique to me. I never heard nobody rap like that. And I'm a big music connoisseur. So oh, just rap you, style is big to me when you hear a nigga put them words together like ain't nobody put them together before. So oh, what made you. you develop that that style? Like I remember on Twitter, nigga, I used to do a hashtag with two chains would say, nigga. That's and just stupid. make up all types of rhymes, Definitely. nigga. You know what I'm saying? What, what would I, two chains say? Oh nigga, I got hold up, man. You gonna make me, me put them got, on the You got a whole bunch on. Man, I say them bitches Boy, from like 2012, it. bro. Yeah. I'ma <laughs> pull it both up. He said 2012, boy. Hell yeah, I go. Oh, Eight years go. ago. Nigga, here we go. Uh Diamond Ring, Frozen Hand, Frosty, the Frozen Man, <laughs> Lynn Quay, that's a frozen clan. Concert in the winter. That's a frozen fan. Hey! Hey! hey. Hey, hold up. Yeah. Yeah. I got another one. I fucked your girl, chest to chest. 
in school, I was dressed the best. If you want to release some stress, make 20 F FFCS. I promote hey! my show with that shit. <laughs> Nigga. That's what I'm saying. Like, so when did you, how did you develop that? Was that just natural? I think you got to be high. Because he do be, it's do that play this Adam Family shit. What <laughs> the hell wrong with you, man? It's the weed, Chico. He was the weed man. He was sitting there just thinking how, like, inside, outside. Outside, inside. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet what? people think I would say something that simple. Actually, people don't get some of my bars to um, after they've heard it a few times. Nigga, it's now like that's the truest shit. Yeah. That's what I, I got that's, it the first that's, time. That's that true shit, shit is an incredible style, the like triple mm, entendre, and it's hard to do. You know what I mean? The triple so, entendre. I definitely triple do that. Entendre. So, triple so, entendre. So, how did you develop that? Like, was that? Um, I just don't say the first thing that come to my mind because I feel like somebody else may have that same you thought. thought. Oh, I think about everything, bro. My nigga. I overly think about it. I don't write anything, but I think about everything because I don't have a line where you're going to know what I'm going to say next. Right. That I don't make, I don't have those lines. Even the big boot, my simplest line, I call her fucking big booty because of, you know, big booty. I was, I think my most simplest line, but the reason it caught was because in Atlanta, you got light skin Keisha, mm -hmm. you know, you got big booty Tanya, you got, we describe girls by, you know, you yeah, you know, my nigga. <laughs> black. So when I said that, even when doing the song with Ye back then, I, I was explaining to him like, nah, we, we literally would call her whatever the trait she got. You know what I'm saying? That's some Atlanta shit, just trying to. So, but um, you know, don't play with him. I like to get down with the best on when it comes to that rap shit. Now, yeah. I just have put up, put up enough music to, cause I'm, I, I'm also sometimes I'm data driven, so I know what the fans want from me. You know what I'm saying? I don't deviate. Which I sh should, I've been in the game long enough to just do the, do the fuck I want to do. But sometimes I'd be like, when I do a song, I'd be like, they gonna love this shit. I already know that they gonna love it. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. Then I got some songs I'd be like, maybe it's too personal or maybe it's too, you know what I mean? Right. But I'll put out enough material. And that's what I tell any artist. Once you put out enough material, you'll start seeing what, what the people like from you and you just, you you know what I'm saying you make that you work on that make it better like believe it or not I'd be like man I like melodies but I'm not known for that that shit is like something that other people do and they do it well I know what I do real well too so even though I may sit in the studio I may do a couple I may use I might but because it's like sports i might work on my left my weakness right. you know what i'm saying just so i won't be Cultural. right or won't be someone that's just you know how you just like you know how you like we know it's a new frontier of like rappers like little baby one of my favorite just like for so many reasons um young boys Few people, I just really like how they coming. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They young, they witty. You know what I'm saying? They energy. got that energy. You know what I'm saying? So I can't act like I don't. You don't hit it. Yeah, right, right. that's just crazy. And you know this was yeah, popping. That, if you gonna be out crazy. here, you got to yeah. be mingling with the shit. You not being a hater. You right. know what I'm saying? A lot oh of yeah. Haters, that's and they don't like the crazy. young energy, and they don't like that it's shifting. But if you're not a hater, you can. Yeah, it's not for everybody. All the all the stuff not for everybody, but you just gotta know, like, if you're gonna be uh, as a fan, it's different. But if you are act, uh, actually in the assimilate simulation and you just in the the grid, like, I think you should like be conscious. I mean, I really used to not listen to nobody. That was the thing about me. My first maybe two albums, I was in a super bubble to the point where I was meeting people that were super fans of me and I, I I would just have somebody close to me be like, bro, this is, you know, I didn't watch reality TV, you know. Like, so like at, at first I was just in a super bubble. Whenever music started coming out on, cause it used to come out on Tuesdays, right? Yep, and then it yep. started coming out on Fridays. <laughs> I think when it started coming out on maybe shit. Fridays, I started like really just giving people at least one listen. And if I liked it, I would listen to it twice. But one thing about listening to other people as an artist, you can unconsciously pick up things from them. 
as you can see with the music industry today, everybody sounds like somebody. Young Thug and all of yeah. yeah, so it's really because they have jamming music, but as an artist, I can't just ride around and listen to it all day because you'll end up picking it up. You know, so as a fan, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to run into the ground. But as a creative, I can't play somebody's stuff every day, all day, or it'll just mess with my creativity. I won't be true to myself. You know what I'm saying? When I get a plaque, I can look in my mirror and say, man, that's your idea, my nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Them folks bought, I'm different. Four, five million times. That was your <laughs> idea, my nigga. Oh, it's a vibe. Even though these are regular sins, man, them folks, birthday song, them folks, millions of people bought your shit. Yo, them, I ain't like unconsciously ripped that from another nigga tape that ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't do that. That's why I can just move how I move. Ain't nobody slide me that. Right. Yeah. Right. Saying, that shit, me still to this day. Right. Bitches still coming in. Them bitches, coming in. bitches gonna keep coming. Bitches coming in. Yeah. Bitches gonna keep coming in. So, I ain't saying nothing wrong with no help, but the reason that I can uh, confidently say that I'm still existing in the game because I still got ideas that people are uh, buying. To. And that's the dope shit. Your music hit different, man. I like to play that shit when I'm getting paid. You gotta. You gotta, you gotta, gotta you gotta be getting some money. Mm -hmm. Man, it, it's you like when, the, when you got the money. <laughs> it feel better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, like you were saying, the lyrics hit different. You said that like the big booty line, one of the simplest lines. That shit makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. I call her big booty because she got a big booty. Yeah. Right. yeah, but when you really with a bitch, you got a big booty. You, you don't know her name, though, but no. Booty. Booty. <laughs> 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 you don't know her name, but you got a big booty. Especially from a strip club. One of my favorite songs is I told that bitch, you motherfucking right. Because uh -huh. that's a turning point in a nigga life. It's very rare that you agree. <laughs> See, uh -huh. a lot of niggas, you, when you tell a bitch you motherfucking right, you, you agree. And that ain't a disagreeing statement. Uh -huh. I told a bitch you motherfucking right. Like, and bitch, it was, don't matter what right she said. Way. She ain't had to say nothing positive. You could just be so cool at what you got going on. Fuck you, you, mother, you ain't shit. You motherfucking right, bitch. I ain't shit. I ain't gonna you never be I mean? shit, It's hope. variations of <laughs> right. that, that hit different. Yeah, yeah they, I mean? they, got, they got a play, too. Yeah. Which one? That. Woo. Probably whatever y'all name, be real with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we can just talk about all that shit freely. Fuck Welcome back that. to the 85 yes, South Show. <laughs> You're sitting at home with no necklace. Pause this shit and go put two chains on. Do that for us from here. You got to watch the rest of this with two chains on. Mm. Motherfucking right. Motherfucking Man. right. Blue this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. My name is Carlos Miller. Blue Chew. Dot com. Trust me. At this point, you already know. It's people asking me, man, what that Blue Chew do? Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. And it's a sexual stimulant. Now, it's not, it's not going to cure any ailments or anything like that. But it will have you making sweet, sweet love <laughs> to your lady. BlueChew.com. If you can benefit from more confidence where it counts, Blue Chew is the fastest and easiest way to enhance your performance. These pills are amazing. Go check them out at BlueChew.com. If you could use a confidence boost or you just want to feel like your old self again, trust your mans. Use the promo code. It's only $5, man. You can try it for $5. Go online. BlueChew.com. You can go right on your phone. That's Blue. B-L-U-E. Chew, C H E W dot com. Hey man, make sure you hit that website and use their promo code. I just want you to see what all the hype is about. You get what I'm saying? Trust me on this. Use the promo code, get your first shipment for free. 85 South. I put that on everything. Times is hard out here. You feel me? <laughs> I was, so, do you have a favorite song that you. Do you have like a song of yours that's your favorite song that you make? Yeah, I got this song on my second album that then a lot of people um, I don't think might be listening to because it's one of them songs that's my personal favorite. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, okay, I got a couple favorites. Got one that Mike Will did. I got one, I got one. That was mm -hmm. one of my favorites just because of the energy. But I did this song called Black Unicorn with Chrisette Michelle on my second album that actually Serena Williams used for a Beats commercial. Hey. And um, like when you hear it, you'll think like the song is about her or whatever, but it was on my album, it was like, and I did it for Beats. I, did, I performed it a couple of times, but it's one of them songs that 
I get to get my um, shit off on. And then on my newest project that dropped Friday, so help me God, I got this joint called Vampire on there, produced by Cool and Dre. And that's one of my favorite up-to-date joints that I've jo done recently. Like, I can hear that a lot of times. With my music, I like to like, especially if I know it's a hit, I don't listen to it a lot of times. I try to work on another one. You can get caught up in my, yeah. in my mind. I think time is, a, is, is a, of essence, so you can just like be like on your dick too much. Like, this is how I look at it, right? This is a hit song. Boom. The sand start like, it's not going to be a hit song forever, right? right. So our niggas be like gloating about this little hit song. If they don't have another hit song, then eventually this shit runs out. Run and that's why I, I, I like um, the baby too, cause he, he don't come, be he, he don't be playing. He come at yeah, him. Yeah, as soon child. as he thank y'all and he don't be playing, he come with a note. So I like I like that. And you know that's a good way to see like work ethic too. Like I fuck with that energy too. So. You know what I'm a fan of, man. One of my favorite songs, man. Play a circle with Lil Wayne, man. If I don't do nothing, number five, chop down there like the clock on the wall. Like, go and get you. If you, listen here, man. Listen, man. First of all, that's like a hood nigga anthem. It very it, much is. We ain't got too many, but we definitely got some. Yeah. And I promise you for a physic, that's definitely one of them. You dig what I'm saying? So, but how was that the first off they had your, your, your partner on the, on the track with Lil Wayne, one of the best rappers alive? And plus, you got your own personal relationship with Wayne. You feel me? So it's like, how do you know? First off, you come from the streets, nigga. And yeah. you got one with Weezy. You know, half of these niggas can't get Wayne on the track. Nah, especially at that time. Um, I I'm gonna say that. I will, I will, um, Wayne, yeah, that's my man, you know? That's my man. And we, let me see, did he know? I, yeah, he knew I was rapping about that. So at first, Wayne, so I met Baby first. Right. I met Stunner first. I met Stunner in Patchwork one day. I was trapping and using my money for studio time because I thought that to show God I'm serious about my you crap. What I'm doing mm -hmm. is I'm actually investing my money. This is my thought pattern. So I'm still serving and making jugs, and they was like, somebody wants some weed in the um, big room. I was in the small room. And, and also, I wanted to be around people. I wanted to just like see if I could bump into somebody on some shit. So come to find out, like, there was a bunch of New Orleans niggas out there, and um, they needed some weed, you know what I'm saying? So I met Stoner. I had, um, this a long time ago, too, and I had, you know, whatever that, that situation was. And then, like, uh, I stayed back there with him, you know what I'm saying? The energy was good, jokes, you know what I'm saying? Smoking, and then he offered me a um, ride back to New Orleans with him. And at this time, I'm just like out here on some when we leaving type shit. Fucking you know Tim And uh, I go to New Orleans. This is before Katrina hit, you know what I'm saying? This nigga got like a neighborhood full of mansions. It's like a mansion for the homies. It's like. Tune got a mansion. It's, everybody got mansions, so I go to the mansion. It's for the niggas and shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas took a nigga in, I'm, I'm fucking with niggas, but I take some weed with me, you know what I'm saying? Just cause that's how I was moving. And this around the time, them zips was like 400, 450, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And stunned to know, like, I had like, gave that nigga like a zip or two. And I guess he thought I just, could not yeah. ask for one. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> that little wow. I was like, boy, I was kind of like not leaving New Orleans for right. like. So I had got my little 800 or something. <laughs> he like Slim, you know, because he really fucking with me because his brother named Slim. He called me Slim, like, you tall. So he, he fucking with my, you know what I'm saying, my, my pimping and everything. But I was like, what did he put me in? He said, 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 what did he put me in? You know, but you know, he did. And then eventually, like, I met Toon. And then that happened. You know, our relationship built off that that kind of campaign. He was like, I ain't got the money, but you can meet my son. No, no, no. He took care of it. Then I met Wayne. Then we smoked strong. And then he was like, OK, that's what y'all doing. We just became homies. And Good then man. that song happened. He did that song back when he was popping. He did Duffer Bag for free. 
him, he, baby was getting like a hundred. Probably he was getting like a hundred, so it probably was the two hundred thousand dollar discount. You know right. what I'm saying? We shot it on Godby Road, kept it G. You know what I'm saying? Pulled up. That's why I was like, he was he was a good real nigga because he didn't have to do it. He was so hot at the time. Right. And then you know my verse was so good. I must say so myself that people thought he wrote it. Right. So he went on tour the first night he went on tour. You went he tour. performed my verse in Florida the, the night the tour started in Miami. So I spoke with him and he told me if I don't come on tour, he was going to do it. And I was there the next day. Yeah, like, about fuck that. Because I'm about to do my verse. <laughs> 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 because Wait. like after the hook, you just couldn't stop. You had to be like, the beat so hot. The, so he was like, I had to run that bitch. What? You got me crazy. So that's, that shit kind of helped him. You know what I'm saying? It changed my whole. Shit, man, my family strong. The first meeting in my family, I broke a generational curse. Yeah, you right. Like, man, I, I fuck with the nigga, man. Yeah, yeah. The nigga need to hear that real, that real deal shit, man. I get you so much money, saying? it's my ID. Don't try me. <laughs> fuck you, me, boy. You don't get no money that song, but you ain't get no money. I'm telling you. Yeah. So you, so you was plugged in back then, like you said, you had relationships with all these dudes who were successful, and then you kind of, you know, fell into it. So when you came in and started to, when you started to blow up, like, did you realize it was happening, or did did it like just you kind of just looked up one day and was two chain? No, so like, like, so like I can see y'all was going on with y'all, mm -hmm. but you can't. Like that's how it was with me. But people was telling me, mm -hmm. like different artists were telling me, like, bro, you. I remember like. I remember when I was on Old National in the trap rapping, man, I got a phone call every day from a different celebrity for no no bullshit, nigga, about three weeks straight, nigga. From, I ain't said no, from the lowest nigga to damn near when Gay started calling, nigga. I'm just sitting by there getting called to the point where I would tell a nigga like, damn. Such and such they called me, bro. I don't know how they like, for real, like, yeah, bro. I got niggas like, nigga told me they fuck my like, oh, like then some niggas come like, damn, Sean, that was such and such, y'all. Like, damn. Mm. And then, then they start being like, that shit, bro. Like, I walk out the room like, damn, what the hell going on? Like, right. like, it started getting serious. And then, but you know, like, you know, the, the feeling and the paper, it wasn't like the same. You know what I mean? So, but it was just coming in, man. My, when I got my deal, I had so much leverage that that's how I knew. I was popping. When I went and got my deal, I didn't have to go for no 360 deal. You know I signed four albums. That's why I keep having one more album to go, because I keep re-signing for another album on some LeBron shit. Yeah. Mm. Album for some meals. Let's just keep it, let's just be clean. Let's just yeah. be clean, transparent. I'm going to do my job, make sure I'm straight. Other than that, I can get out here and do the hustle and the bus. Right. Shit it makes so much sense. The chain's going crazy. <laughs> they just hit Clink, clink. Clink, clink. <laughs> Play some of that music, J.O.N. It's the Adams family. <laughs> that boy going crazy, man. Dropping so much game. I hope you pick well, something up. Mm. Step on that man Yeezys, man. Okay. Well, these are the most comfortable shoes I, I ever I was about to wear. ask about them. Them the Futuramas oh right there, man. People can talk about them. I don't, I, I mean, first of all, you know, I don't care, but like, you look like a shoe, nigga. Just touch that, honestly. I'm, Would yeah. you, you Do it know, feel like the, 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 the crowd, These though. the motherfucking camp counselors right here, like the head <laughs> camp counselor. They, just they, touch they, them. Nigga, they so run the camp. It's comfortable, my nigga. I just, you like. Got down, you just got out of surgery. <laughs> Welcome to Camp <laughs> True University. Come on, come on, right? Man, you stun your head, Joe. Yeah, yeah, nah, but real, don't fucking bullshit. You got your own shit, though. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. I had a, uh, so this was like for a year, a situation with uh, Chain Reaction. It did a lot for me internationally for some fashion shit. I was already dibbling and dabbling in e-commerce with fashion. This actual one is the pretty girl, like, trap music. Um, one that didn't come out on time, but it still got the pink. Shoes take like a year. Once you come up with color waves and ideas, they take like a whole year to produce. So this one, and then there's some black ones that got like a gold chain on them that I helped design too that a lot of people didn't get, but a lot of like rappers and artists, they obviously have. Well, you That know. I had my actual thumbprint in. 
the bottom got the chains on them. Oh, this Ooh, bottom right yeah. here? Yeah. <laughs> I've been to uh I've been that to a lot of places. Hard. But I uh, like going yeah. to Milan and being in being involved in the fashion shows and like Donatella just having a cool rapport with her and just, you know, I know that sounds bullish, but it is. That's how I felt in there buying these. Because yeah. I went to the launch and they was like, no, the shoes aren't available yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, talk yeah. your shit, nigga, we yeah. come yeah. from They aren't available yet. I, remember I was like, well, what time they gonna be available? You came. Yeah, I was man. in there and then the white lady was like, came. Came like, you're going to buy the shoes. I was like, yeah. No, man. Do you have your size? I'm like, yeah. They right there. I'm about, I'm about to do that. You know what I'm saying? So what yeah. So what you do? She was like, "Oh, I'm the head of something very important." I'm the head of something. <laughs> is, that, is that something you always want to do? Like, you know what I mean? Be in the have your own shoe. I mean, I think all of us athlete. do. Though. I yeah. think all of us do, I want bro. Mine. And I then you know, like doing it with any brand, but then you doing it with a luxury brand was like, right? It's like, oh yeah, new shit. Like people were doing it, but they weren't doing it, especially like. People Hands that on. look like me, right? So, that, that was a good phase. That's a dope thing that's in my portfolio, and something like I be using these experiences, man. Big picture, yeah. So, you know, I got a real question. What's now, up, brother? now we all know from Player Circle to the Boy, but when you switched it to Two Chains, was that more business? You see what I'm saying? That was a business yeah, route. Yeah, Titty Boy is a name. My mom calls me, you know, Tit. My, my daddy, rest in peace, just called me Titty Man. My family called me that. I'm an only child. I mean, my mother have a real close relationship. So it's more of like, you know, like a, uh, a bitch that? for the only child, like Brad, like a Titty Baby, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Be close upon her. And that was something that that the neighborhood started hearing my mama call me and then it just started people calling me used to call me tit so when the music shit happened i didn't have like no mc nothing it just like when i first got on with luda i didn't have no like they have it well thought out to it so i'm just thinking that the name that i've been getting called is just cool like right. titty boy but then people are like i can't say this, this. <laughs> Right. And I'm like, what's going on with these folks? And then they looking at me like I'm crazy. They all covering themselves. I'm like, you know. I thought you was going to cover that. Just <laughs> yeah, they didn't grab titty and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, I thought so. you were the titty massacre. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, like on that, come in, just can't control myself. <laughs> no titty, no! <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't know Titty was offensive. That is hilarious. Just bro. saying Titty. Hey, yeah. maybe titty. that's hilarious. <laughs> Especially, you know, you got to think, man, all of us, like, all of us judge a book. All of us do that shit. All of us judge the book by its cover. Right. All of us look for something wrong in everybody. We see a girl bad, we be like, just be, she can't be this bad. Like, they could be looking at her toes. They could be just like, boom. Trying to find some. So, same thing with an artist. You be like, you, an artist got to do, be pretty consistent for you to like him because the first, man, that nigga fuck, got that shit on. That shit, that nigga lame. You, know, you just, niggas be just, the first instinct is hate. So, with me, it's like, titty boy? You know, like, that, that just, it just had a wall that just was in front of me, you know what I'm saying? And by me just saying titty two niggas and two changes came organically. Right, right, right. On, I'm was just gonna say, how, did, how was that like rebranding mm -hmm. two chains, even though it was the same motherfucker? Man, people ask me this all the time, man. It wasn't like an event. It wasn't like a day I came up with it. Man, I'm just rapping, saying shit. This shit started sticking. Like, I like this shit. Two chains. Two chain, I started. Saying it, you know what I'm saying? And shit started sticking. Shit started sticking, man. And I was like, this is it, you know. <laughs> you know what, this is it. This is it. <laughs> this is gonna totally work for me. Like, you're right. Now and it worked. Had to be uncomfortable no because more. Because I, like, I, I naturally wore Thank jewelry, you. Thank too. You. Yeah. Thank you, too, Change to Titty Boy. I was so nervous. Yeah, my, my current album cover is from the eighth grade, and I have one. 
three two, necklaces yeah. to be for real with you. And so this is like I ain't, Bop face. I ain't superimposing face ass. Yeah, long head <laughs> ass. Yeah. Long, that was, <laughs> he was happy to the motherfucker too. <laughs> <laughs> I need that motherfucker like that. He got long head. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't shit, Carl. <laughs> Cause you ain't shit. I had to get you. I had to get you. <laughs> hey, you ain't shit, cuz. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> that was good. <laughs> that, that was good. <laughs> hey man, you one of you one of the fun niggas in the world. Man, well, I love you, OG. You know what's happening. God, look at that one. <laughs> 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 and he fucked up his good because he thought that too, but he said that. Hey, no, like, he was like, man, you know I what? No, no, so I found that long. shit during quarantine. You know how nigga been cleaning up, shit right. doing all type of shit. Yeah, found that I see bit. that bitch, you know, that bitch approved. That bitch got stains. When I see that bitch, I say, damn, it. John. I remember when I growed my hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, but well, my head was just. That was, that was when you was growing it. I grew my hair probably. A couple years after, I went through okay. a, a couple phases. Yeah, you know, niggas started out. rocking the nappy. For, niggas started doing everything. But I, I had kicked that little joint. That one, that one, one of my best looks. But she, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I stand, I stand on. I, you know, yeah, I, 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 I did it. The fuck you mean? My hair always been able to grow. All my pictures. My dad didn't cut my hair. I was like two or three. Like so, my son is five. He ain't never had a haircut ever. For real, this nigga dress about to catch mine. So I'm like, like you, what, you got some. My like daddy that? had ponytail before he died. My mama got long hair. Yeah, y'all, y'all got hair. Y'all got hair. I remember one time y'all. my daddy cut my hair. I wanted to fight that nigga. Yeah, I ain't never. No. Said that. I swear to God, that nigga gave, man. That nigga used to give me the worst haircut. It was like, <laughs> and then it just be like, I had a like I had a random ass time. They were like, come here, I'm about to cut you. He's about come here. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, I'm, he don't never show me the haircut the whole time he doing it. I don't know why, but like, I'm about to tell you. No, I'm about to cut you. You know that nigga come look, here. I'm about to cut you. So look, man, the, I don't see the haircut the whole time he doing the shit, bro. I don't know what the hell wrong with my daddy to this day. <laughs> he used to always give me this fucked up ass Pee Wee Herman haircut where it'd be like, ball with the little Gucci in the front. <laughs> and he'd be like, boy, you in there now. <laughs> <laughs> now you clean, son. I'd be like, now you I'm clean, not going son. nowhere with this <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> that nigga leave just a little bit, it like this little, like the, bro, the army you, shit with just a head, head, bro. That's why you bought it. Nigga had the Gumby. Nigga had hey, never grow back. Nigga right? had the Gumby. They, they to cut your head with no yeah. mirrors around is tough, nigga. <laughs> He didn't know what he was gonna give you. <laughs> he he looked right on you. <laughs> he did that. He did that. But that's hilarious. Now he bro. absolutely did that. That nigga said, "Come here. What? I'm about to cut your head? I'm about to cut, come on. Y'all getting your hair cut tonight? For what? What we do to you, bro? I feel like practicing, bro. Who you? Who you? Who hair you cut? Hey. He, he cut your ass. Oh man. When, you, when we start this shit. I used to cut my nephew head. Why? Why? Just cause. <laughs> Just cause you could? You a dirty motherfucker. Hey, Clippers. I said I'm gonna choose you for some time. <laughs> Hey, bro, I never See, my, that's, that's fucked up, man. My nephew don't named Octavius Hart, bro. Again, man. I put an O in the H in his head. Don't ever do that. What? His name Octavius Hart. I put an O on this side, and I put an H on this side. That, that, <laughs> that nigga had O in the back of his head. Nah, it's fucked up, because if you look at it from the wrong side, it's a ho. ho. No, because it wasn't even an H, nigga. It was, I really fucked up. I had a football goal on that bit. All right, man. Nah, that's <laughs> crazy, up. man. It's fucked up. Don't I, never. I didn't, I didn't give him the full eight. I said, hold up, this shit don't look like no eight. Everybody that had a fucked up haircut. I don't think I ever had a fucked up haircut. I tried to shake myself up one you, time you and cut know. my whole eyebrow off. <laughs> How do you slip? <laughs> Trying to shake myself up and cut my shit off, oh, yeah. nigga. I had to walk around with the half eyebrow, nigga. It was like, man, what the but fuck did I do? But you stupid, bro. But now, nigga, come here. Come here. I'm, cut your head. Know, I mean, I'm growing my shit out. Fuck the front, nigga. I'm just. Let me see what your shit hit on. It's, yeah, nigga, okay. it's growing. Okay. Trying to do a little something. You know, they got your little, they got some, uh, some castor oil that might get that motherfucker. Nah, Ain't no oil. They make got them hairs coming yet. around about the great. No, nah, I gotta get the, I gotta get my shit anointed to grow back in the front. I don't even give a fuck though. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, I never get to that, but I'm gonna go as close as I can. Dude. They can, they can, they take 
they got a process. Nah, I'm scared it. of that, dog. Cause you know, nigga, it's nigga soft right there. He can't, the nigga he can't fuck with this. Nah, man. nigga, they be mm. doing all type of shit. I looked at one on Google. They was like, yeah, they take hair off your ass and put it on your uh-huh. head. I'm like, nah, fuck the surgery. Oh, nigga. Ass, you <laughs> got ass down the head. That <laughs> <laughs> tall nigga like you be like, man, that nigga Chico head smell Hell like ass. Like, I didn't want to tell him we was fell. You can put your beard. You put the beard. Fuck this shit, bro. Cause what if they fuck around? And be fucking with your shit, and now you get a soft spot in your head like a baby. <laughs> nah, cause that's what that is. You can't you put nothing on top. You wrap your hair every night before it. you go to bed, cause the top sensitive. That shit name. tender. Hell no. Fuck nah. sensitive. That shit tender. <laughs> your hairline come back, but you can't dream no more. <laughs> They got halfway dreams. <laughs> but you know, even if they bring your hairline back, the side effects gonna be some shit that ain't yeah. got nothing to do with the hairline. Like, look, you might start back pissing in the bed. That's for the first, <laughs> for the first three yeah. weeks. This uncontrollable bladder. You, this uncontrollable piss. But you, when your hair start growing in, you yeah, no, you know, I'm <laughs> ass shit. Fingernails get long right. in a motherfucker, nigga. Like that, you looking like a cold ghoul. Like, nigga, fuck this That's shit. That's hilarious. I'm just bro. gonna let it do what it do, nigga. You fuck put it. if your hairline grow back, but the shit don't never stop coming. Down. Now I got a bang at it. And that's it, that key girl. I got the bang. bang. Hey, play the Adams family shit again. That's what that was. (laughs) That shit just come all the way down to your nuts. Nigga, that made that nigga grow a hell out. It just keep going down. That nigga nigga looks like it. It the, won't even stop till it gets right like past your nipples. nipples. Nigga, fuck that. That's why I'm going natural, nigga. I went Sharon. natural in 2020. Yeah, fuck yeah, that, man. If your shit gone, just let it be gone, man. We just work with what you have. Right. That's what people, that's what I tell people. You worry about what I what I don't got. I'm worried about what I got, nigga, because in March, I ain't had shit. They think, like, women gonna God give a damn, fuck. They don't know from. that. A lot of women don't have a lot of uh, shit going on under them wigs either. So. Oh, they don't be no. nothing. It be nah, bald spot. It be dick right here. Yeah. You yeah. ever seen a bitch had a bald spot right here? I ain't gonna like, say shit. That's that what I'm wig. saying. I ain't Back gonna on. say shit about her bald spot. She don't say shit about mine. That's why we just sit at the house and look at each other like, you better not. Okay. Right. <laughs> we the same kind of bald, just in different spots. Right. <laughs> Right, exactly. Okay. And I was bald. That's what I would tell women all the time. Cause you know, about it. take your hat off. Like, bitch, take your hat off. Do you take yours off? I take mine off. Same time. Same, same time. Same time. Same time. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas stupid. We all been there before. Wow. Two. Get what the day is, man. Ain't we dropping it on the day? It's the dropping day the day. The album dropping. The album the day, man. Today. Today. Because we're hey. recording this from the future and then dropping it on today. Well, Dad, we're talking the future. This shit dropped today. So well, what, give, what gave you the motivation to do this one? You know what I mean? Like, because you got, I mean, your legacy is already cemented in my opinion. So what motivates you to keep putting out that, new shit? That was a good word. What that was? Cemented. Cemented. Yeah. Oh, submitted. Cemented. Oh, submit. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, you said like, it so fast. Like, yeah. cemented. I'm like, oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, okay. That nigga be studious, man. Yeah, I don't bullshit. Real studious. I'm still passionate about what I do. I still love what I do. I still do it every single night. Every night, still. You can go right now to the studio. Mm, yeah, I just love what I do. I used to have. People don't even know where we yeah. at. I had a studio over here for eight years. Word. Yeah. Who all on this album though? Oh, y'all are here today. Today, you gotta tell them it's out today. Tell them what the album is. Might well check it out. Yeah. They got to tell them yeah. the fucking album. I love that. <laughs> I was trying to so help me God, but they, they can listen to it and see all the all the, you know, all the people on there. And Hey man, cause today. that motherfucker shake your money today, maker, go man. Get today, you know what I mean? Like that shake your, this just the live band. And the, what what was the motivation behind that HBCU? Ooh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That just that you know using that, especially during the pandemic when ain't nobody had no homecomings this year. That was major. Yeah, so so help me God is a um, an album. From Two Chains by Two Chains that is bringing it's a time capsule of 2020, so to speak, but it's more of the light side. It's more of the light side. I describe it as the other side of the pillow. You know what I'm saying? Like the cool side because it's not like driven off protest and social inequalities. It's not really that type of music. It's more fun. When you talk about money making, you talk about <coughs> black excellence. I mean. I didn't know the vice president was going to be who she was, but it was just like a HBCU thing. Chris Paul was pushing the narrative. Uh, it's just like a thing. I went to one, and uh, the fact that it was a band sampling, it's just like the whole halftime feel. It's never been done before. That's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Yeah, I like, it's a lot of stuff I, I do first. I just don't put it in folks' face. 
but you know I did. Yeah, you the first nigga I ever heard say exotic. Yeah, so um, I'm supposed to Swear to God. Applause to weed. I never heard a nigga describe weed as exotic before too, Jane. Don't Chris Paul go to... Um, he go to Winston-Salem State. Yeah, Chris Paul go to where I went right to school. Right now? Yeah, being rolled there. He go there now. Right now? Right now. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Wait, 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 he taking up? Fuck if I know, but he go there. He go Damn, there. why he ain't go back to uh, Wake, Wake Forest? Because that's not HBCU. Right. And it's in Winston-Salem, though. It's in the same city, but yeah, he's you know what I mean? Too, so he's from Winston, too, so, you know what I mean? He, yeah, he decided to go a, back. It's just a wave. It's a good energy. Quarantine thick is something that I couldn't have made before 2020 because it deals with being in um, the house, eating Close bad environments food, and shit. Hey, that shit hot, clothes. too. Shut up, dude. Big Lotto. Yeah, Big Lotto on there going crazy. She from Playco. She doing her shit. It made sense. Do that. Oh, we appreciate you, man, because you're a motherfucking OG, man. OG, triple OG. You dig what I'm saying? If you still be out here having your business and maneuvering, and it's hard. Niggas don't understand being out here in the music game. They think they can still keep on <clears throat> keeping on. No, only the strong survive. Yeah. And your ass got damn holding on, and you, you doing your motherfucking thing. Appreciate we appreciate you, OG. Appreciate y'all, man. The most expensive. Oh, the most expensive. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh oh, well. Some ashes on my dick. Motherfucker went raw, nigga. <clears throat> That's what you want, though. Thug. Which one? We gotta talk about most expensive for you. Yes, you sir. Get up out the trap, though, man. First of all, like DC said, we appreciate you stopping through the trap. Yeah, it's major, man. You, you know, major. Three seasons deep in, in the most expensive. Probably more seasons than that, because I started on um, YouTube first. Yeah. But uh, most expensive is is on hold right now, obviously due to the pandemic and COVID. That show involves traveling. It involves a lot of stuff that's just not plausible, I think, for the station and the people involved. You know, and especially it ain't worth me risking your health. Yeah. And what's going on? Right. Now, so. Yeah, that, that, help, just be dope that hospital bill will be the most expensive shit, that shit you ever had if you get that, that damn COVID. Um, that you. should be fifteen thousand dollar hamburgers and shit just to know that this type of shit exists. exists right. I seen <laughs> you smoke like a dab that was a nigga. You just was like, no, nah, honey, I, I've, I've had better shit than this. But it's cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's so it's a so any. I'm gonna tell you now, any one of us could do that show because it's no script. It's um improv. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. If this camera, imagine the first time y'all met and you selling these beanies, you know what I'm saying, for an outrageous amount. That's so, how we met, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and I do have beanies for sale. They're not for an outrageous amount, but I do have them for sale. Appreciate that plug. This is, this is the idea, though. Like, so, so DC would be like, what's up, my name? Like, what's up, she like, what's up? Shit, what's up? I want. You know, four thousand for school. He, his reaction will be on camera. Ain't no cut. Let's move the camera. Ain't none of that shit. Right. Once he tell you this skull can cut him up, you gonna be like, what the fuck, nigga? Why? You know, right. whatever that reaction is, and that's what people. It's a real organic reaction because I don't even. You know never that. know what you. I don't even see. know be knowing niggas' name. They might tell me this is you know, you know Jason or something like that sometime. But sometimes I just be like, bro, what you got going on? And right. once they tell me what's going on, sometimes you'll be naturally curious too, like. Anybody else like for real? And it called that. So that's the more educational side. Mm -hmm. The funny shit when it be like, you know what I'm saying? Why? Right. Bro, what's why, why you why you spent this on this? Like why? Right. You know what I'm saying? So the the shit is it just fit my personality, you know what I'm saying? And uh it's not a it's probably the funnest check that I ever got, you know. Did they I'm ever saying? give you any of that shit you sample? Yeah. I Word. get a lot of them. I get a lot of it, and then some of them I don't. But I've changed. <laughs> I've changed every business on there. I've changed their, their what they have going on as a business. I've definitely increased their sales by being on my show. Fuck right. There we go. Right. Hell yeah. Big time balling, man. The guilty. You hit me. Damn, man, we got two chains on the show, man. I know, man. Well, niggas, we moving up in the world, Boy, bro. we moving up. Fuck Where? you. Hold on, let me tell you about, about Prince with something. You old puss ass, bitch ass nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boy, boy, I'm on his ass. Nah, that nigga didn't even oh. let me back in the school, you old bitch ass principal. nigga. It's yeah, one of my principles, man. You old bitch. <laughs> old hoe ass nigga. 
Yeah, yeah, nigga, nigga, you remember you told me I was gonna be shit? Ooh, I can't wait to see you, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, your president told you you wasn't gonna be man, shit. Man, nigga was an old man. He ain't said it, but he said it in his actions. He ain't let me back in. Boy, you, you threw me to the street. What if he bitch. did? What if he did? I was thinking oh, the same thing. I was did? like, somebody would be like, he did. He heard me what if he what? He did. did. Man, I don't give a fuck, nigga. <laughs> fuck you talking about, bitch. <laughs> hey, that nigga talking about. <laughs> I don't get no fuck. That nigga, hey, you know everybody got one nigga like that, and they just hate them for. Well, it ain't that I don't hate them, it just, you know. They just, he ain't believe me. He ain't, he ain't see me, it. Man. You saw it, though. That's the most important part. Dig what I'm saying? You got to see it. But fuck with another nigga see it. You be needing that. That's a part of the shit that got you. That energy. Mm -hmm. that energy. Who was that person for you, Jane? Who was the person that you, that motivated you? I ain't got to say no name, they know who they is. <laughs> Man, the Pink Trap House is legendary. More than. We need a challenge. Like, that's, that's, that's got people coming from all over the world coming to Atlanta, making sure they stop by the Pink Trap House. Well, yeah. T.I. has the Trap Museum now, exactly. so it's kind of like, you know, like, yeah. a two, like a continuous type of thing. Like people, a cousin type shit. Yeah, where people still come. Because people actually think I have something to do with that. Right. I donated my car over there, and I got, he got, I got a dope ass setup over there. Yeah. But like he, like Tip told me personally, the difference between yours and mine. <laughs> 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 that nigga, that was bad. God damn. What he say? What he say? The difference between? That's my partner. That nigga, that crazy man. <laughs> no, I was, I was renting mine, and he, 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 he bought the location that he had. Oh, so okay. That's okay. Just, that's just some, you know some what I'm saying, shit. Wakanda shit. You know what I'm saying? Like right. Atlanta shit. You know? I seen y'all that video y'all did when y'all was with Chappelle at the comedy club, man. That was dope, man. It's you know what I'm crazy. saying? Yeah, it was fun, man. Good vibes, man. Dave Chappelle. He went crazy. He that nigga go uh, crazy. God. I'm, he, I'm, I'm mad I miss his ass, man. man. Oh. So he was here for like three or four days. It was, I guess it was super on the hush. And they were actually doing COVID tests outside like before you get that's what that nigga so cold because i actually went up to his summer camp that nigga got had covid testing centers yeah, he all over the city he ain't playing yeah I swear to God. and he, he was testing playing. everybody for free it was rapping, you know how right mad in. you would be if you bought the ticket and can't get in because you test positive at the door <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> he he was mad like, as a it was a rapid test so you would know then they wouldn't give you a, you have to, like he tests whoever like it was like from such and such in the morning get the test they give you the wristband so you're good for the show if you if you got the shit they ain't getting no wristband, they ain't gonna let you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You'd be mad as a motherfucker. You'd paid to come up there to book the whole trip. Excuse me, sir. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, we gonna have to. Put you to the yeah, side. Yeah, to, yeah, step over there to the left real quick. See the ambulance going. Yeah, yeah, you gonna have to. Yeah. They about to take you somewhere. Put, Go put, over there. Put another mask on. Step in an ambulance right there. Hey, uh-huh, right here. Get him away. He's he's contaminated right here. <laughs> I wanted to ask you before you get out of here, why what why the, that name for this album that came out today? Why what made so you So help me God. So help me God. Um, you know, so help me God is like an old thing they do when they <clears throat> like a testimony type of thing, your truth when they um, appoint you or anoint you to something like that. And it's also used as a term when you when you swear, like when you really mean something like so help me God, like, you know what I mean? Whether it's good stuff or some smoke. So for me, in this particular case, so help me God, it's like, uh, this motherfucker, jam, like, so help me God, this bitch here is, you know what I mean? It's on another level for its creativity. It's on another level for its production. A lot of shit I did was with younger producers, just mixing that, you know what I'm saying, that old song with that new, even the, the, the features are just like, they fit sonically, so. It's one of the things where I always wanted to put God in my title, and this was like one of the ones, you know, like when you be, you know, even when you go to court, you got to get on the stand. Right. You got to tell, the, when you're supposed to tell the truth, you need to like put your hand on the Bible. You know, so help me God, so this album is really my truth. Going in. That's what it is. Truth. Going in. First, I, I can't wait. Boy, I know, boy. I that can't wait to leave that. right here so I can go get it. Matter of fact, I'm going to get it right now. Always, you always I'm put bullshit. together projects, man, that's so dope. And sonically, they just, you know, they always, it ain't too many two chains projects that you got to skip a track on, man, because all of them is worth to listen just to hear what you're going to say and how you put the words together. And, 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 and just, you know, the, the way that you 
you know, put your music together, man. So, you know, I'm excited about it. I can't wait to hear it because I'm a t we all two chains fans around this bitch. We've been riding for a minute. Tallest nigga in the strip club. That nigga got a minute stand still. What? Gotta grab that motherfucker. Man, fuck with all of them, man. Because, like you said, they hit certain nigga moments, like on some other shit, man. We, you just one of them niggas that's always that we always gonna be a fan of, man. And for you to come through and fuck with us and let us know that you see our movement, man, and just watching yours oh, transition and go from the, you know, the hood to the fashion, man. We support everything you right. got going on. You always love. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, man, we don't even, like this say, ain't even no interview type shit, man. No, if you got anything no, going cool. on that you want to get out to the world through the social media podcast platform, bro, you're always welcome to come fuck with us at the right. Show, man. Because this shit means something, right? Because, you know, we was fans of you before anybody knew who we was. And right. to be able to make it to a point where you sitting next to us telling us about what we got going on, mm -hmm. nigga, that's, 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 Amazing, man. So thank Look, you for that, man. Gotta Appreciate come bless you. our 85. Show Please. Jet, 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 with a You know bro. what? I know how niggas is. Okay. I know how it is. Let me tell you. All we do, want. Do your shit, man. All we want. Hook verse. Hook verse. Go on, get your ass on up out of here. Hook verse. Get your ass up out of here. Yeah. We don't want no song. We don't want hook verse. Get your ass up out of here. We need you that, mean? man. We need you on the 85. I mean, just even if you just come perform. Nigga, you can come perform shit that niggas ain't never heard before that you just wanna perform. We don't give a fuck. Come in and say ABC 30 times. We just need you on the set because it means something. It, it validates what we trying to put out, man, because you know, you make timeless classic music and that's what we wanna, you know, be a wanna part of. we wanna be a part of that, man. So we need you on the 85. Man. Definitely. It's a whole energy, man. Well, there you have it, folks. And to all the people watching this, we fuck with y'all, the 85 percenters. We love y'all. Y'all hold y'all hold us down so much, man. And we oh, got and, and 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 then my principal dead. My bad. <laughs> Rest in peace, if y'all. That shit was laying on my heart. It was like, what if he did? Damn. But if you watching this, if you watch this, come to get one. But if you're alive, and make sure. You go get that new Two Chains album. So yeah. Help me God. Get that right man. now. So help me God. Go get it right now. Fuck you, man. This was and still is the 85 South Show. Yeah. Appreciate you on me. That's go love G. right there, oh, G. Man, love, That's man. much love. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My boy got beat now. request for Chico. Yeah. He do his thing. Hold on. Okay. So help me God. He do his thing too. No, be me on. She gonna go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh...